Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not providing buy or sell recommendations. I'm just giving you my opinions. Please do your own research before investing. Hey guys, Emeka here. So today I want to show you how to trade cryptocurrencies using the different cryptocurrency exchanges. So I know most of the newbies out there already know how to buy Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum simply using their Coinbase or other similar exchanges or wallets. These are the easiest and fastest ways to get into Bitcoin. But now there's other coins out there that are making just as much returns for people, but some of the bigger wallets or exchanges don't really cover them. Now in previous videos, I already told you about Changely, which is one way to do it. And the registration process is very easy. You don't have to provide too much documentation. But for those of you who wanna be day traders and to jump in and jump out of altcoins very frequently, it's better for you to use some cryptocurrency exchanges like Poloniex, Binance, and Bittrex. So today I'm gonna to show you how to buy cryptocurrencies using Binance. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. I'm on coinmarketcap.com right now. And if you look down, you'll see there is a number of different altcoins that you can actually buy. And some of them have some really good returns. See Santiment, 43% return. Look at uh, Walton, 13.15% return. Look at Next, 87.12% return. Bitcoin was 6.84% return. So you can see there's a lot of other altcoins out there that are doing some really good returns that you won't be able to have access to them on Coinbase or Gemini or any of the other uh, exchanges out there. So how do you purchase them? Well, the way you do it is you use these crypto exchanges, but not all crypto exchanges actually hold these, these coins. So you have to actually be able to find the exchanges that hold the coins. And I'm gonna show you how to find which ones they are. IOTA is one I really like because Microsoft just did a deal with them. As you can see, it went up 36% recently. Let's see which markets they're in. Bitfinex, Coin1, and Binance. So let's go and look at how to buy and sell IOTA on Binance. So let's jump over to Binance here. I'm already logged on. I'm not gonna show you the registration process. It's pretty straightforward. So first things first, I'm just gonna show you where you go to fund your account. Go to funds and withdrawals. To deposit funds into the account, it's very simple. All you need to do is click on deposit and then you will get an address. And you just go to your Coinbase account, type in that address and send the money from there. So very simple. So let's move on. So now that you've deposited your account, you actually now want to trade. That's why you guys are here. You want to actually make trades and make money. I usually go to exchange and go to the advanced exchange. And then you'll be looking right now. What we see here is a candlestick chart of the prices. So let me try and explain this, uh, this chart. Right now I have it set to hourly bars. So that means every hour a new candlestick will form. If I set it to daily, then that means every day a new candlestick will form. So let me just go back to hourly. So when it's clear, there's, it's, there's no f color filling in the middle, the green ones in this case, that means it is a bullish signal. That means it's going up, the price is going up. When you see there's, a, there's some filling in the middle, or in this case it's pink, that means the price went down. If you look at a candlestick, this is what you'll see. You'll see a rectangle with a line at the bottom and a line at the top. Now let me tell you what this all means. The line, the bottom part of that line is the low for that hour. So that's the lowest point the price got to at that hour. The top part of that line is the highest point the price got to in that hour. The bottom edge of the rectangle is the opening price in that hour. And the top edge in that rectangle in that rectangle is the closing price in that hour. Now that is only in a bullish candle. That is a candle that is going up, in this case a green candle. In the case of a pink candle, the bottom edge of the rectangle is actually the closing price and the top edge of the rectangle is the opening price. Now to buy and sell these cryptocurrencies, you look at the chart, you find a price that you like, and you buy or you sell. It's that simple. And the procedure is as follows. I have a few IOTA right now, so if I wanted to sell it, I would go, first of all, I click on the market tab, and then I would go to the sell section, which is on the right. The market tab allows you to sell at the best market price right now. So that means you'll be able to sell it immediately. And I would just come here and select if I want to sell 100% of my IOTA, 50% of my IOTA, or I can actually type in the amount I want to sell and just hit the sell button. That's how easily you sell. To buy, you just go to the other section. And how people usually do it is they just sit here on the screen and watch the price. 
they hit buy, and watch the price. If the price goes up, they hit sell, they've made money. Boom, it's that simple. Another way to do it is if I didn't want to buy it immediately, but I wanted to buy it if it hit a price that I found favorable. In that case, I would do a limit order. So instead of clicking on the market tab, you now click on the limit tab. Now on the limit tab, what you'll do is you'll specify the price that you want to buy the cryptocurrency at. So if I look at this right now, I see the price at 0 0.0001634. Maybe I don't want to buy it at that price. Maybe I want to buy it at, if it falls down to 0 0.0125. So I'll type in the price here, 0 0.000125, enter my amount, and hit buy. And in this case, a limit order will be placed for IOTA at that specific price. So that's how you trade cryptocurrencies on Binance. Stop by next time for some more crypto news.